everyone, blessings and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the dangers of connecting yourself to low frequency people. But before we get into our topic, subscribe to this channel. Also hit the like button. And if you enjoy this content, share these videos. As usual, I do appreciate everyone's support of this channel. Now let's get into the topic of low frequency people. What are they? <laughs> so basically they are individuals. They are people who are dedicated to existing and dwelling in the base nature of our humanity. And it's what the Bible would call the sin nature. Those negative qualities, those things that we all possess that are not good for us, that are harmful to us and others, they would be negative qualities such as negativity, just being a negative person in general. Uh, low frequency people tend to be envious and jealous. They tend to be extremely lazy. These are people who are usually spiritually bankrupt or spiritually dead. They are people who do not seek to live uh, good quality lives. They don't seek to do anything better in life. They are content at really dwelling uh in the lower rungs of living right and of being and existing right they also they tend to be very dishonest these are people you really can't trust in the long term people who are not good company to be around and i'm going to discuss the three reasons why main reasons why so the reason why uh really they're dangerous because they don't want to seek higher level things in life and these are the type of people who will really hold you back. So let's get into why we should connect ourselves to low frequency people. The number one thing is that they will drain you because they are parasitic in nature. These are the type of people who will come around you, especially if you're the type of person you're trying to improve your life. You have goals, you have hopes, you have dreams. You want to do better. You're into self-improvement. You're trying to grow as a human being. You're trying to grow spiritually. And what they do, because they're not seeking anything higher in life, they're not seeking to do anything better in life. They'll come around people who are doing better or trying to do better, and they will come and they will suck and they will drain the energy and the life force right out of you because they need a host, because they're parasites. And... Um, they need the energy to keep going because they're too lazy to do anything better for themselves. As I stated earlier, they are very lazy people. So um, you don't want these type of folks around you because they will drain the life out of you. Right. And sometimes it's like I'm describing these people and you're, you're saying and you may say to yourself, these are horrible people. I don't want want folks like that around me. And sometimes without even knowing it, we may have a low frequency person in our midst, in our circle, right? So they tend to uh, attach themselves or become part of our lives because maybe we grew up with them. We have some sort of history with them. And maybe we were at a certain level in our lives and we're beginning to level up and um, low frequency people tend to stay right where they are. And they, they'll be where they are for decades. So sometimes they come they come into our circle because they have kind of like been in our lives a long time. Maybe we went to high school with them or grew up with them or have known them a long time, worked with them. However, they have come into our lives, whatever way they've done it, um, oftentimes low frequency people come because they have some sort of history. They come and they usually buzz around and they hum around like like flies and like gnats and like things that are just sort of like annoying because we're doing better. We're doing good. So they can kind of like sniff out the people. Um, they're really like hanger ons like they're people who just, you know, trying to like hang on to people who are doing good and doing well and trying to progress in life. Like I said, because they're they're like vampires, they're like vamp parasites and they feed off of the host who was, you know, trying to do better. And usually, you know, you are in the midst of a low frequency person is that when you leave them, you feel exhausted, you feel drained. So there are people who never, ever have anything to offer you. All they do is take away. So be careful of the low frequency person. They're around you because um, you're probably a person who's doing better and at least trying to do better in your life and they just need someone to feed off of so number one they would drain you number two 
a low frequency person will basically obstruct your path and what they do because they don't have really have anything to offer people that they're around they usually they bring confusion they bring drama and they bring primarily distractions um low frequency people are very distracting people um they don't want to improve anything in their lives um so people who typically don't want to improve in life um they are very distracted um they have a lot of confusion in their lives and because that's who they are and that's where they choose they're choosing this nobody has to be that way they're choosing to be that way if you have them in in your company and in your life in some way they'll begin to bring that confusion and those distractions in your life so if you're trying to push ahead move ahead move forward in your life you have goals you have hopes you have dreams the only thing a low frequency person can do for you is slow you down and stop you from where you're going right they'll, they'll, they'll they put they'll put detours in your path and steer you away from the good things that that god has for you and, and what you're trying to do in your life so I want you to know if you have a low frequency person in your midst, however route they came into your life, just know that they're going to distract you. They're going to cause confusion and they're going to bring drama into your life. The third thing is that ultimately, if you have a low frequency person in your life, people that don't want to level up, people who are content with just the bare minimum, people who um, don't really share your values they're not lining up with you you're trying to level up this is how you know you, you you could be dealing with a low frequency person you're trying to level up and they just want to be right where they are that means it's time to depart from that person maybe they were good for you in the past and it didn't really bother you back then but you're trying to level up and they're just not there and not only are they not there but they're, like I said, they're dedicated to negativity. They're dedicated to the things. Maybe your values have changed. You don't have those values, but they do. It's time to um, find new associates, new friends, new people to hang around because ultimately the low frequency person will drag you down to the basement. I have seen this time and time to time again, personally, you know, growing up in the hood, growing up in the ghetto. For me personally, I've seen people who were gang banging, who were drug dealers, who really turned their lives around. And they went back to school, some of these people. Um, they started earning money legitimately and got good jobs and you know got, got their education. Some of them even started their own business doing well. They even moved out the projects, out the hood, out of, out of you know the neighborhood, and they started doing good. But the problem was, they had the same friends and the same associates, the same low frequency people who were once again, these are people who were dedicated <laughs> to being where they are in the cesspool of um, our lower selves, right? Because um, if you, you dwell at the bottom, you know, there's not good things at the bottom, right? So they did all of these things, but they continued to keep their same associates, their same friends. And what happened, I've seen these same people who were doing well in life, who made a complete turnaround, end up dying and getting killed because they were with these low frequency people at the wrong place, at the wrong time, getting caught up in shootouts and violence. And, and they, they were ended up being innocent bystanders in situations because they did not change their friends. They kept these same low frequency people around them, although they were trying to improve. These people were not on their wavelength. They were low vibrational. And unfortunately, for some of the people that I have known, good people, they ended up losing their lives. Good people who actually started going to church, gave their lives to the Lord, but they still was hanging out with the same people. It's like once you change your life, once you level up, you can't keep the same people around you. You keep people around you and people that you have a history with only if they are too dedicated to growth and too dedicated to leveling up. But if they're not growing and if they're not going anywhere, the only place they can drag you is down to the basement with them, right? So a low frequency people the danger of keeping them around is um, not only will they drag you down, but you can lose your life over dealing with low frequency people. 
um, because they may be willing and dealing in things that are um, criminal or that are just that just don't align with 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 who you are right or even if you know you were caught up in cer certain things and you're you've changed your life around you can't keep those same people around you so there is great danger in surrounding yourself with low frequency people and um, basically they are the folks who don't want to do better uh, who will not do better and you have to identify them quickly because they will infect your life they will infect your life and basically become like a cancer and spread like a disease and ultimately destroy you and like i gave in my example you could lose your life over dealing with these types of people so we want to associate ourselves with people who are growing with people who have our best interest. And sometimes when I think about the low frequency person, they may not necessarily be a person who's out to get you or a person who wants to do harm to you specifically, but because of their lifestyle and because um, their, the negativity that comes with them and because they're not doing better because of who they are will begin like, you know, they say misery likes company, they'll begin to bring you down. And like I said earlier, basically uh, infect you um, with their negativity and the things that they are doing. So they may not have it out for you, but because of the things that attract to them, like distractions, confusion and drama, that'll become, to, that'll become part of your life as long as you have them in your life. So it's very important for us to be conscious, conscious of the people that we have around us and that we surround ourselves with because part of our success in life has to do with the people that we surround ourselves with. So make sure, be sure you don't have any low frequency people in your midst. Make sure that you um, identify them quickly and get them out of your life quickly because they're not going to change. And the only place they could bring you is down to the gutter with them. Well, that's all that I wanted to share with you in this video. Stay high frequency, stay, um, stay on the path, continue to level up, continue to grow in every area of your life. Take care, God bless, and I will see you in the next video.